Hey, a pleasant good day, Phantoms fans. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be the next edition of the Ghostly Take on our 3 8 and 3 Phantoms, as this is going to be a preview to the game against the Rochester Americans up there in Rochester tonight. So, the Phantoms, after unfortunately losing when they had a great third period, a very bleak second period, and a solid first period, sound like any other team? Yeah, the Flyers game last night. Um, but they were not able to get the W as Connor Carrick was able to score on them, of course, on the power play after a penalty that the great captain, Cal O'Reilly, took onus in as the press conference with me and the great Tony Andrakis, um, taking onus of taking a bad penalty there after having a brilliant goal earlier in that game to help mount the third period comeback. Obviously, the Phantoms are going to be without the great Max Woolman, who's becoming a dynamo in the AHL after be, being one already, excuse me, for the Reading Royals in the ECHL. So, this is going to be a little bit tougher when you already have a team that's not always generating consistent, obviously, offensive output, but they do still have the hot as a firecracker. Morgan Frost, who's recently coming off of a four-game point streak, and leads the team in scoring as well. So he's still down there. You still got the great captain, Cal Rice. Still got Logan Day on the back end that plays brilliant back there. Adam Glendening on the back end. Of course, Tyson Forrester is injured right now, so you don't have him in. Uh, he's still young, and he's going to come back and be strong. Zade Wisdom is still out. Of course, Wade Allison is out as well, who's more out potentially for the Flyers, depending what they decide to do with him there. I'm assuming he will get AHL time coming back from injury, and that will add a lot of offense. But when um, Tony Androkis at the game kind of told me, <clears throat> um, it doesn't seem like these guys are very close because when he asked Lappy if anyone's close to coming back from injury, he just said no. Um, so it doesn't seem like these guys are are abundantly close. But when it comes to Rochester, they're seven and five. They recently lost to Utica, but Utica's still unbeaten, so that's obviously not a bad loss for them. Um Jack Quinn is an absolute force of nature on the other end. Pretty soon you're gonna see him up in the Sabres colors for years to come, most likely, as he becomes a potential great scoring star in the league. I don't know about it. It depends what he does as he assists numbers in the NHL level, but he's definitely going to become a scoring dynamo, I believe. And he's another guy that's just an example of you don't always have to have the best size if you're just a dynamo with silky hands and very good ability in the offensive zone, just like we see with other guys like the Caulfields of the world and other guys like Danny Briere, to use a former flyer, for example. But... Also, they got Uka Pekalaikinen, the former player of the week, that is playing like a bat out of hell as well. Obviously, they have Dustin Kukarski up there in Buffalo, as well as veteran Craig Anderson. But if somebody does go down for a more extended period of time, he's a guy that does look like he's getting close to being able to maybe be ready for more extended NHL time, still only at 22 years old. And according to the great Bob Rotruck, and always is always wonderful fan of previews, he had a 32 save shutout as well um, against the Cleveland Monsters. So he's having a hell of a season. Jack Quinn is a hell of a player. Those are the guys you really got to watch. Obviously, you got to be able to generate more net front presence, which this team has the ability to do. When I was at the game, I was talking to this wonderful scout named Matt. I believe he worked for the um, Chicago Wolves. And we were talking about how the Phantoms sometimes just overcomp, not even sometimes, too much this year, overcomplicate, overcomplicate things and play too cute. If you just threw the shots on that, you have Brandon Sonny, you got the Hayden Hodgson's of the world, you have the big boys, Isaac Ratcliffe, the, and then you also have O'Reilly, who's very good at deflecting the puck. You have the guys that can provide net front presence, get the Mike Knubel dirty but good goals, that's what this team has the ability to do, and they're not doing that enough. They're sometimes getting overly passive and sometimes getting overly cute when they could just take a shot rather than making that one last move or that one last pass that ends up being the wrong decision. In order to beat a good Rochester Americans team at 7-5, and five, you're going to have to do that. You can't be overly passive against this team because they're going to kill you and they're cut off those passing lanes and they have Jack Quinn and others going the other direction to be able to lead good transitional offense. And also, you got to get Uka Pekalaikinen 
going from side to side, but that's on good passing, not being overly passive and not making that one extra pass that is not needed. You're going to have to play a game that is going to be more aggressive and more just aggressively shooting the puck on net from all places and getting in front and crashing the net and trying to get those dirty but good goals. And that's how the Phantoms can beat the Rochester Americans in Rochester tonight. I do firmly believe that's why I left this shirt on from when I did my Bryce Harper pre or MVP video that I'm going to link at the end of this for people that are also Phillies fans because our boy won the MVP. And now we're looking to have some continued success in the locale area as we want the Phantoms to be able to win up there in Rochester, New York today. This has been the latest edition of the Ghostly Take. I'm Joe Boric. Obviously, please follow pe people over at SteelFlyers.com where we do brilliant work. I do stuff for them and work for them as well as Pirlo Wisdom, Off the Wall Hockey, uh, Payton on the radio, and others as well. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. This has been the latest edition of the Ghostly Take. A preview to the Lehigh Valley Phantoms and Rochester Americans. Peace out, everybody.